Suzanne Somers has come a long way since playing Chrissy on the hit 1970s sitcom Three's Company. She's since written 25 books about women's health. In her latest, I'm Too Young for This, Summers tackles the decade before menopause, known as perimenopause. I call the symptoms the language of this passage of life. I, I try to keep it light by calling it the seven dwarves. Itchy, bitchy, sleepy, sweaty, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up. She started feeling the change in her body around age 40. It was the sleeping that really got me first and the itching, itching, itching everywhere. I could scratch my legs off and I was in a bad mood because I wasn't sleeping. My hair got stringy. My nails um, were soft and brittle. I was more wrinkled than I am now. Um, I had no sex drive, and I always had loved that with my husband. Just, I mean, I could do it, but I'd rather have a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right, right. So Suzanne asks the question, why wait to feel good again? That's why I wrote this book for the women between ages 35 and 50, because at 35, you think you're too young for it. At 50, you're just starting to think, I wonder if that's what I need. If I knew then what I know now, I honestly don't think I would have gotten cancer. She was diagnosed with breast cancer at age 50. Doctors believe the tumor had been growing for 10 years. Summers believes the cancer was directly linked to her hormonal shift. Bingo. Suzanne advocates bioidentical hormone replacement as the juice of youth, a way to avoid health problems we've come to expect with aging and give the body back its balance. But you promote the natural way to get through this. What do you mean by that? Natural hormones are bioidentical hormones. They're biologically identical to the human hormone, an exact replica of what our bodies make or once made. They're made from soy and yam extract. Bioidentical hormones, or BHRT, are not without controversy. The FDA claims there's no scientific evidence regarding their safety and effectiveness and has not approved them. But Summers insists they are safe and effective. She also believes that lifestyle choices play a role in relieving some of the symptoms of perimenopause. What you eat is very important, that it be clean food, real food. I say if you can pick it, pluck it, milk it, or shoot it, you can eat it. I eat butter, cream, sour cream, full fat cream cheese, olive oil. I eat well. It's just that I eat organic because I don't want all the uh, hormones and antibiotics. And I eat grass-fed beef and organic chicken and wild-caught salmon. You're 66. Uh-huh. How old do you feel? I feel like I'm in my 30s. It's all working right. And I love how strong my bones are. I, I, I can do a handstand in yoga. Summers emphasizes that perimenopause is a time in a woman's life when she should be thriving. And what I'm trying to say to women is you can sail through perimenopause, you can sail through menopause and never suffer if you know what to do. Are you no longer bitchy? I'm not. I really, <laughs> I, I, I would say that it's rare. You're so passionate about sexual health. Mm -hmm. You're a true advocate. Do you think this is your, your, your real calling? I do. I do. My television career to me was accidental. I believe that I am the new face of the matriarch. This is the new way to age, and it makes aging exciting. With Everyday Health, I'm Taryn Brill.